the residents of uh, Mombasa, uh, they are used to things being done in, in the shadows. Oh, so are you a gay? Okay, at night. But during the day, uh, at the day, don't be gay. Yeah? So when the visibility started showing, they were shocked. Like, how dare they? Don't they not know that this is a, is a Muslim dominated county where we do not allow such kind of filth? They blame it on Wabara. And Wabara are people coming from up countries that they are bringing their Western, uh, 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 Western ideologies to this, other, uh, to, to this other part of Kenya. And that attitude, the uh, social attitude, has really uh, rifted uh, uh, communities in this area. In Mombasa, we have Muslims here who tend to be more like uh, militant, more radical, not understanding what's going on. Uh, and then a lot of peers we have, you know, from around, they don't have a job. It's, you, just, you just find them, you know, they have this hate towards us, like they just they just want to do something. And I think also it's, they're being enticed or sort of like encouraged to go out in public and then, you know, protest against this with money. And it's just so not really good for us. And then actually, surprisingly, even among those groups of people, you'd find them that actually they are also, you know, not accepting themselves. You'd see that it's because of lack of jobs among the you know, peers, lack of information, lack of, you know, um, being tolerant, because you know the most thing about Muslims, we're supposed to be modest and tolerant on, with each other, because it's a very peaceful religion. But then others take it differently.